Covering Colorado first tonight, could jetpack suits be the future of backcountry rescue operations in the high country? We'll find out. Mountain News Room reporter Spencer Wilson in Summit County on this interesting possibility. And Spencer, we know last year was one of the busiest for those search and rescue teams. And they tell you they're eager to learn if the jetpacks might help. Jim, crews have multiple different ways of getting to those victims in those alpine rescues, whether it be hiking in, using a four-wheeler, skiing, or even using a helicopter. But now they're saying they'd be willing to explore the idea of using one of these jetpacks and a paramedic to help get people help sooner. The whole idea here is speed. So within three minutes of opening those doors, you can be anywhere within a two-mile radius. You know, in pretty much any weather, over any terrain, uh, and land on something the size of a dinner plate perform a task and then come back. Richard Browning just flew a mock mountain rescue in three minutes and 30 seconds compared to the usual 70 minute on foot response. So yes, if your heart stopped as a tourist or you've fallen off a crag and you know bleeding out profusely, 70 minutes of walking and no helicopter because the fog was so bad um, or three and a half minutes for you know jet suit medic. I know what I'd choose. It almost sounds too good to be true. Our mountain paramedics say they're not counting this option out, but there's a few big questions left hanging. The, the higher you go, the thinner the air gets. And, and in the case of a helicopter, the harder those blades have to have to work to sort of beat the air into submission to stay airborne. This isn't a helicopter, and that's the point. But how our high elevation rescues will work with the jet suits is yet to be seen. Still, rescue crews know better than to count this out. So we're certainly very interested in learning more and potentially in testing it here in Colorado. You know the old adage, never say never. Um, but at the same time, we'd really want to uh, address whether there's a high demand or a high need. And gravity seems interested in Colorado, too. There is talks about doing avalanche rescue exercises as well. One of the things on our bucket list, because I think that could be really impactful. Another thing to consider is that these are jet engines attached to a person, and therefore there is fire danger in a state where it is incredibly dry almost year-round, which could potentially cause fire danger. Although, Gravity says they are working on an electric version of the jet suit as well. Live in Frisco, Spencer Wilson covering <laughs> Colorado first.